The essential understanding for this lesson is, good math thinkers use math they know to show and solve problems. Previously, students named and showed halves and fourths of shapes and compared the sizes of halves and fourths of the same whole. In this lesson, students use pictures to model real-world problems involving halves and fourths. This problem is key because students are asked to draw a picture to model a real-world problem involving equal shares. To do this, they need to use what they know about halves or two equal shares of a whole. Listen and look for students who model the problem by drawing and coloring a picture to show a blanket divided into two equal shares, one yellow and one orange. Then they use their picture to complete the sentences, noting that one of the two shares is yellow. While this is correct, Encourage these students to replace their word in the first blank with a word that tells what part of the blanket one share is. If needed, give them the choices of half, quarter, and fourth. Listen and look for other students who model the problem with a different picture. They may divide the blanket into two equal shares vertically or by drawing a diagonal line across the blanket. In completing the sentences, these students use the name for one of two equal shares, half. These students demonstrate an understanding of how to model a real-world problem involving equal shares of a whole. This lays the foundation for work with expressing equal shares as fractions later on. Miss Rose's curtain is divided into four equal shares. She dyes two shares red and two shares blue. How can you describe the shares of the curtain that are red? What are you trying to find out? You are trying to find out how to describe the shares that are red. What do you know? You know that there are four equal shares. You also know that two shares are red and two shares are blue. Can pictures and objects be used to show the problem? Yes, you can draw a picture of the curtain. How can a picture help you? You can see how many shares are red and how many are blue. When you draw a picture to solve a problem, you need to draw all the parts. So, draw a picture of the curtain with four equal shares. You can color in the equal shares to match the problem. You draw a picture to show how the quantities in the problem are related. How can you describe the shares that are red? You can describe the shares that are red by looking at the drawing and counting how many equal shares there are in all, and how many equal shares are red. How many shares are red? Select your answer. There are four equal shares in all, and two shares are red. So, two out of four shares are red. You can use words to describe the drawing. The drawing shows four equal shares. Two of four shares are red. Drawing a picture can help you solve a problem.